So you got a new watch and you're so excited to wear it. And maybe you're not used to wearing a watch. And what's the first thing you do? You bump it against the doorknob or the door jam or a countertop. And pretty soon you look down and there's all these little nicks and scratches in that beautiful watch crystal. And you think, ah, oh, it's ruined. But is it? Well, on today's episode, we are going to be looking at uh, watch crystals and watch crystal polishes and plastic polishes in general. Hey, I'm Mark, and welcome back to the channel. Well, I asked, is it ruined? <laughs> Probably not. Especially if it's an acrylic crystal, then there may be hope. If you Google how to get scratches out of a watch crystal, you're likely to come across a product called PolyWatch, which is actually just a plastic polish. But is PolyWatch the best? Well, today I'm going to put PolyWatch against three other plastic polishes. Actually, one is a metal polish, and we'll see which one does the best job. So before we start polishing, we need something to polish. So I purchased four acrylic watch crystals of similar size and of the same brand. And in order to test the polishes as fairly as possible, I prepared each crystal by attaching a weight to it, in this case, my bench handle, and then rubbing it against some 1500 grit sandpaper. Now I used just the weight of the anvil, so all of the crystals should have the same force pushing against them onto the grit, thus creating similar quote unquote damage or scratches. Now I know this isn't absolutely scientific and I know I'll probably get slayed in the comments for even attempting this, but this is as close to scientific as I could get. Now make sure that you watch till the end because I'll be giving away the products that I use in this video to four lucky viewers and I'll be telling you how to get entered into that giveaway after we determine the winner of this watch crystal polish challenge. So now that we have the watch crystals prepared, let's meet the competitors. First up is Meguiar's Plastex. This product is said to quickly remove scratches, oxidation, and grime on both rigid and flexible plastics, and to restore optical clarity. Next is Novus Number no. 2, and the manufacturer says it removes fine scratches, haziness, and abrasions from most plastics. And then we have Brasso, which was suggested by a subscriber and I always listen to my subscribers. It's actually not a plastic polish at all, but rather a metal polish. It says it's been designed to remove tarnish from brass, copper, chrome, and stainless steel. Well, today we're gonna to see how it does on plastic. And finally we have PolyWatch, which is said to offer a simple and reliable solution for removing scratches from plastic watch crystals. So I'll be reading and following the directions on each of the labels and using the product for three minutes on each just for consistency sake. I'll begin with Plastex and its label says, apply a small amount of product to a foam applicator pad or terry cloth towel. Rub thoroughly onto the plastic and then wipe off the residue with a microfiber towel. Well, I don't have a foam applicator pad, so I'll be using the terry cloth towel. So I apply about a pea-sized portion of the polish to the towel and rub in a circular motion for about three minutes. And I'll just wait until the minute hand reaches 12 on my recently serviced IWC pocket watch. 
If you haven't seen the video where I restore this beautiful pocket watch from the 1920s, please check it out. I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this video and also down in the description. So I'll spare you having to watch me rub this thing for the entire three minutes. So by the end of the three minutes, all of the polish has been used up. And when I go to wipe off the excess, it actually squeaks. I guess that's what you call squeaky clean. Sorry, I, I had to say it. All right, so as you can see, it appears that most, if not all of the cloudiness that was there to begin with is gone. And apart from a little smear of polish, it looks really shiny. So awesome, I really like how this is starting out. So next up is the Novus Plastic Polish number two. And the bottle tells us to simply apply the polish in a circular motion and buff with a clean cloth. Again, I try to apply the same amount of the polish, but this time I'm using a microfiber towel because it didn't specify what type of cloth to use and I really like this type of cloth. Again, I'll wait until the second hand is on the 12, and then start to polish in a circular motion as directed. and then I'll just buff with a clean cloth. So again, at first look, all of the cloudiness is gone and the crystal looks clear and shiny. That is so great. But I will be looking more closely at each of the samples a little bit later on. I'll actually get my microscope out and we'll look at the surface. But next up is Brasso. Remember, Brasso is a metal polish, but hey, let's give it a try. Now, the instructions say to soak a clean cloth in the product and apply it to the metal, but I'm just going to apply the same amount I used with the other polishes, and then I'll just blah, blah, blah. You, you know what I'm doing here. And again, at first glance, it looks pretty clear. So that's good. All right, here we go. This is PolyWatch. So the label says to apply the polish with a piece of cotton wool and to polish for two to three minutes. So I don't know what cotton wool is, so... Hey Siri? Here's what I found from Collins Dictionary. Cotton wool is a soft mass of cotton, used especially for applying liquids or creams to your skin. Oh, okay. Well, I think that just means a cotton ball. Well, I got one of those. Now, of the four polishes that we're using here today, 
Polywatch is the only one that says it is specifically made to remove the scratches from acrylic watch crystals. And if we look at the price per ounce for Polywatch compared to the other polishes tested here today, we can see that Polywatch is by far the most expensive. So as I finish up polishing this crystal, I'll wipe it off with a microfiber. And much like the others, it seems clear, as you would expect. I'm actually going to be, like I said earlier, going to be looking more closely at the results of all of these polishes using a microscope. And I think uh, that is really going to tell us which one of these polishes did the better job. Although I must say, all of the crystals seem crystal clear again, and that is quite impressive. So before we look under the microscope, I mentioned earlier how I'm going to give away each one of these products, and I want to go over that now. All you need to do to enter this giveaway is to be a subscriber to this channel and leave a comment below in the comment field. In two weeks, I'll use a random comment picker, and I'll pick four viewers from the eligible commenters. Then, on Tuesday, October 25th, I'll post another video announcing the winners. In order to avoid any scams, I'll have the winners contact me at an email address that I give out. I will then have the polish of your choice shipped to you directly from Amazon, free of charge. So don't send any money to anyone saying that you won and that you need to pay shipping or pay a fee for this or that or anything. This is absolutely free. I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm buying these products myself and I'm getting no compensation from anyone in any form. Also, YouTube has nothing to do with this giveaway in any way. This is a giveaway from me and my channel to four lucky winners. So if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe and leave me a comment and you could be using one of these polishes on your own watch in a couple of weeks. So continuing on, I wanted to use something as a background that had very small print. So I'm using a $10 bill because I know it has micro printing along the bottom. First, we will look at the Plastex crystal and looking through the crystal at the printing below, it looks pretty good. It's very clear and easy to read. Now I'll adjust the lighting and see if I can focus in on the actual surface of the crystal. And you can actually see some fine scratches here and there. I would think that they would have to affect the clarity of the crystal at least a little bit. And at certain lighting conditions, these scratches actually could be a little distracting. Up next, we'll look at the Novus 2. And again, looking through the crystal at the printing, it seems to be pretty clear. Maybe an abrasion here and there. Now I'll just adjust the lighting and shift the focus to the surface and again you can see some light scratches uh, that have remained on the surface. Maybe not as many as the Plastex, but there are still a few there. I'm really not sure if I would notice them without a microscope or if maybe I polished it a second time, I could get more of those out. Next up is the Brasso and oh boy. Even though the crystal is clear and I'm able to read the microprinting, 
I can also already see some of the surface scratches. Let me adjust the light and the focus and let's take a look. Now remember, this is a metal polish and isn't even designed for plastic, but oh yeah. Now that is really obvious. Look at all those scratches. That is definitely the worst of the three that we've seen so far. And based on what I've seen so far, I don't see that I would ever use Brasso on a watch crystal. Okay, and now the poly watch. Again, it looks clear, very clear actually. Maybe just one little abrasion that I can see. Now under the adjusted light, let's look at the surface. Oh wow. I'm actually having a little trouble focusing on the surface because there is nothing there to focus on. Okay, here is a little faint scratches on this side. But over here, there's just nothing. I, I can't believe it did such a good job on these scratches. I mean, they're just gone. To be honest, I really thought that all of the plastic polishes would be pretty much the same. And then I could just smartly say that I'll just save my money and just use the Novus 2. But that just isn't the case at all. I'm honestly shocked at how well Polywatch did. But with that being said, I may be able to get the same results. If I just use the Novus or the Plastex a second time. And if that's the case, then economically speaking, those other two would be better due to the high cost per ounce of the Polywatch. And I certainly don't want to take anything away from Polywatch. It did a great job with just one application. Wow. So I guess that about wraps it up. That's what I got. Now, obviously, these are just my results, and I'm sure if you did the same test or different tests, you could get completely different results. So take this for what it's worth. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below to get entered to win one of these polishes. Remember, you get to pick which one you want. Also, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. It really does help me a lot. So I look forward to reading the comments, even if you're just going to slay me and tell me that the testing was complete garbage. Hey, that's fine. At least you're telling me what you think. We are all entitled to our own opinions. So until we get together on the 25th, when I announce the winners, stay safe and God bless. And much like the others, it seems clear. And so as I finish up polishing this crystal, I'll wipe off the, so, okay. Three, two, one. Rub thoroughly onto the plastic and wipe off the residue with a microfiber <coughs> towel. Rub thoroughly onto the plastic and then wipe off the residue with a microfiber towel.